Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Um, it's been a while, as uh, I'm sure some of you are fully aware, but today we are going to be working on Pinky. So, we are going to be, well, I am, well, feel free to join me because you can watch, um, going to be taking both wheels off of Pinky as it sits at the moment. And uh, as the video progresses, you will obviously see why. So um, let's get on with that and uh, yeah, figure out how to prop the bike up with no wheels on it. It's going to be fun. Apologies for the noise everyone because it's run, it's chopping it down right outside, it's windy and it's horrible. Okay, so we've got a, a nut on, um, sorry, a castle nut on the back there. But, uh, it's not done up tight, so literally all I need to do is undo it, hold on to the other side of the spindle. Which makes it a bit easier if you've got something big on the end of, on the, end of the castle nut. Also, I didn't tie it up fully because obviously the uh, sprocket carrier is not in there because obviously that needs to be replaced. Well, not the sprocket carrier itself. Um, the uh, sprocket itself. Not the carrier. So let's pull the spindle through, lift the wheel at the same time, space has dropped out. I hope you can hear, I hope you can hear me talking over this horrible, the horrible weather. Well, that spindle doesn't want to come out, come on. Might stick a bar through, just to tempt it a bit more. Okay, so I found a bar. Where's the push it through. So let's lift that out now. Because the wheel is free. Okay, so yep, the wheel's out. Spacer. Let's put that with that one. So let's lay this down on some cardboard. Front wheel. But we need to get something under here. We need to find something to go underneath the forks. Because when I lift the bike up, all the weight is on the front. So, I think what I'm going to have to use is one of the toolboxes. That might be a good idea. Right, so, let's grab a toolbox and see what the height is. But on the low side. Um, it's not an essentially important toolbox. It's got to be something I can prop this up with. Hmm. Well, let's see. Problem is, if the bike tips forward and there's too much weight on the front, there's no spring on the stand, so the whole thing will collapse and end up on the floor. It's the last thing we want, really. Anyway, we'll give this a bash. These pinch bolts at the front here are not tightened. Well, not that I'm aware of anyway. I don't remember doing it. There we go. Is that one going to turn on that side? Yes, it is. Damn it. Right, okay. Big Allen. My nice trusty red ones. And it's not big enough. <laughs> okay, so. We're going to need to dig out. Do actually. No, what I can do. Is it that one? No. See, my guesswork is way off this time. It's got to be this one. Yep, yeah, that's the right one. So, what we need to do is just pinch up these ones on this side to stop this, the end of the spindle moving. Yeah, they were loose. Okay. And just make sure. Ah, uh, yeah, that, yeah, these are, what is wrong with me? There we go. These two were pinched. Oh. 
Let's go. So this one comes out like a socket. If you haven't seen the video on this before, it is kind of like a socket. And it comes out and it's got a thread on the inside. Come on, out you come. Oh no, that is the... Ah, okay. Got that one wrong, didn't I? <laughs> that is the spindle. The other end is threaded on the inside. So, let's place that one down. Yeah, it's going to tip forward. Okay, so I'm holding the bike up. There is a spacer on the side of the wheel. Let's slide that down. Okay, so what is usually good practice is put the spindle back through and line it up with the other side. That's moved slightly, as it will do. And just screw that back in there. And it doesn't go anywhere then. Okay, let's bring this toolbox around. Hopefully, it's not going to go anywhere on its stand. Hopefully not. Fingers crossed. Please guys, keep your fingers crossed that the bike isn't going to go anywhere. If I can raise it up and place something underneath the spindle, that might be a wise choice. Paper. Okay, so here we have the rear wheel. And yes, I'm not too bad actually. It's the right one, look at that. Okay, so one loosened. Go opposite, like that. I've always done it that way. Okay, so there we go. I could do a clean up, but uh, not necessary at the moment. Okay, so brake disc off. Right, let's get this wheel out of the way. Okay, so we have a sprocket on here at the moment. We do not need this. Come on, off you come. So, yeah. Up comes the sprocket, out come the push drive rubbers, and we want to flip the wheel over. So there we go. Right, as you can see now, this is the plan. Need some grease. Okay, unfortunately we don't have any grease that we can use at the moment, so unfortunately I've got to use a bit of old engine oil which is only to put the bolts in. I'll clean it out when uh, I do it properly. Right, that's on. So, what we need to do then is the next little job that will come in a later section of the video. So, yeah, that's that one. Let's put that back in its box. Right, here we are. Here's the discs. Uh, they do need a clean. They're not perfect, but uh, they're going on. Okay, so they're not done up hugely tight, they're just done up tight enough. Right, there we go, front wheel has its discs on, 
Obviously it's not going to be a permanent thing. Anyway, question. Let me know what you guys think of gold on pink wheels. I just got the wheel dirty. Not good. I do not want these wheels getting filthy. Well, they're going to get filthy anyway when they're on the road, so... But, yes. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What I've got to do is we are putting new valve stems. Oh, sorry, there. New valve stems on the bike. 90 degree angle. So, I'm going to place it in from the inside. And make sure I get my hair on the way. And put it so that the, the socket end of it is facing out so you can get your socket on it. Because it's recessed. So, get the thread right, don't across the thread. Do that up as tight as you can with your fingers. And try and hold it as, as straight as you can, or if you want it angled, that's entirely up to you. Right, so, where is that socket gone? Right. There's the socket. And there we go. That's what I'm doing. Let's do it up. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'll try and angle it so you can see there. And what, we're gonna, what, we, what we really want to do is have it on the side which faces the chain. So, was it the other side? No, that side, yeah, that side is for the speedo drive, if you can see that. That side's for the speedo drive on this, on the left hand side of the bike, so the chain is on that side as well. So what we've done, really, we're facing the other way. So we're going to point it the other way, haven't tightened it up just yet. So, there we go. It's facing the opposite side now. I just have to double check that. Okay, so I don't know if you can how much you can see of what I'm doing. But let's get that in there. I haven't got a recessed 14mm socket unfortunately. Drat. There's got to be one in somewhere. Actually, that is tightening up. That, I can always get it checked when I go to the... take this to the shop. But, unfortunately, that's chewed slightly. That's annoying. There we go. I'm going to try and maybe get some sealant on there, if possible. So I zoom in a bit. So, there. And... There. So let's do the same thing on the other wheel. Right everyone, uh, today, uh, following on from the previous part of the video, we are at McPherson Motorcycles. Um, quite a few bikes in here, all nice and tidy. Lots and lots of bikes. Anyway, the topic of what we're doing today, tyres. As you saw in the previous section, uh, taking the wheels off the bike and putting the other boxes in the back of the car. I don't know if I filmed that, but if I... maybe not. Um, so what we've done is we've already taken the tyre off the front wheel and what we're going to do is taking the tyre off of that one and we're going to show that on film. I've been given a quick demo on this machine here so I'm going to give it a try. So yeah, if I mess it up, I mess it up, but you're going to see it all. So set the camera and crack on. Right, 
away we go. Right. Back tyre. This here is our hand, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go right. with you if you need it. First job. Um, we're going to take the valve out of the tyre here. Got a lot of pressure in there. And almost. There we go. Right, so put the tyre in the side of the machine. What is this called again? Put the tyre in the machine, I'm guessing. Speed breaker. Speed breaker, yes. okay. So we've got the tool in here. And so, the right hand side pedal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold it with this Just hand. Hold it back. Yep. Yeah. And whenever you're ready, press the pedal. Right. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turn it round. Yes. To the inside of the wheel. Pinching the underside of the tyre. Oh, stop. <laughs> okay. I might help you this one. Right. So these bags are forced up through. Ah, okay. Ah. Right. Okay. That one's off. I'll get released. <laughs> so we can see. Ah, okay. Right. Second one. Off. I don't think I may have locked the camera. Or have I? Drat. A little bit. <laughs> if I missed that, really sorry. Um, right, so the tire is off the back wheel. Uh, now we're going to put them on Pinky's wheels. This is going to be good. These tires aren't staying on the wheels, they, they do need to be replaced. Um, but we're going to go. We're going to do this now. 
Right, now taking the wheels out. Um, awesome. You've seen them before, we know this. Look. There's the first one. Let's get rid of that one. Oh, stay still. And number two. Are they going to stay still? <laughs> then why not? Unfortunately, I caught a bit there. Oh, no. It was being done. But... Right, there you go. Um, I'm the camera. Oh, I don't need to. That? Right, there they are. We're going to do these now. This one's easy to pop on. Yeah. I don't want to damage the uh, powder coat. I can't believe I'm bright enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Right, so we need the rear tire that you've just taken off. That's Perfect. right here. And it's got a rotation, hasn't it? Yes, so, it does. Um, what we'll do first before we out the rotation, oh, we'll easy. lubricate the tyre itself. Ah, yes. So, what you do, grab the brush, spin it back, and try and get it around the bead like that. Alright? Okay. Yeah. I'll let you do that. I don't know if you can see this, guys. Um, I need to lift it up slightly. But yeah, putting some uh, lubricant around the Tire. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe. <laughs> should be enough. It should be fine. Yeah, that should be enough. And same on the other side. Yes. Oh, it's making me laugh. Okay, so filthy. God, very slimy stuff. Okay, so that's number one. Perfect. Right, so what you need to do now, yep. obviously you know what side your chain sprockets are on when you push drive. That's this side. And so is that the left hand side of the bike? Yes. Perfect. So we're looking for a rotation, which is here. Yeah, that's the one. So at the moment, the tire's the wrong way round. Right, so, so we need the arrow to go in the direction of travel. That way. Perfect. Sometimes they put one arrow on. Ah, uh, yes, of course. So obviously we've got that one. There. So direction of travel, that way, yeah. left hand side, pop the tire back on, okay. easy, pop that in there, yep. try not to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> right. right, you can do the pedal again, All right. Okay. so if I push it so in, yep. Wow. Right. Okay. Push that, tip. yep, and you push down. Oh, you don't need the lever for this one. You don't need it at all now. Okay. So, so this one's a little bit more complex. You've got to push around the rim. Yep. And now press that lever again. And stop the second. Sometimes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you need a bit more persuasion sometimes. So you can try and keep that side up and that side down. So press the pedal again. Stop again. <laughs> That's not going to play. Alright, we're just going to pull it back up. <laughs> Go on, press the pedal. It's just, uh, it's just a bit of, a bit of see, um, grease. Right, okay. How do I release? Right, so to release it, middle pedal, press it down, hold the time we do it, yep. and go for it. You'll push it down and it'll go back up. Ah! Yeah. Whoa! There you go. It's lost your. Uh... And it gets stuck, so hang on. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. You'll spin them out normally. Your, uh, yeah, just chuck it on the thing there. It's only protect the rim. Yeah, and the tool. Right, Excellent. so. Wow. Your valves are in there, aren't they? Yes. Excellent. Right, so we can inflate your rim now. I've got a tool there. Okay. 
you're looking for two pops. Yeah. So you're taking the valve out. Obviously that one I <laughs> two on. Should make two loud pops. So we're putting on the other one. You see the jaws closing in, and it's holding it in position. We've got all the pedals on the front. So what we're going to do is put the, the other tyre on. So place you in the right position. Right. I think we should, it's probably a good idea to do it in real time. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, so the rotation. This is the front wheel, so it's going that way around. Yeah, oh yeah, gonna do the grease as well. I did almost forget that. Actually no, I think I did forget that. Now we've got the tyres on, uh, we're going to put them on the balancer and see how out of balance they are. Um, we're not going to put any weights on them just yet because if we change the rubber we've got more chance of uh, damaging the powder coat removing the weights that are on there. So that is what we're going to be doing now. Right everyone, I've just been given a quick run through of how to use this machine, so it's balancing the rear wheel. So we've got to get the wheel on, this spindle, brake disc on the inside, 
there's a cone on the inside as well, so it's not that long. And we've got a cone here that slots in along here, gives the bearing. And we've got a number of spaces to go along here. And then we've got a, a nut to do that on the end. We do that tight because it stops a little from moving. The machine's already been set for this wheel. So, next, pull this. Is that on the thread? Pull the arm up. Ah, pull the arm up, yes. See, I've been forgetting stuff already. Lift the arm, pull, and let go. Not that I like that, but... Okay, so it's all been set up weight-wise. Um, and pull down. And that's how it works. It's got another little arm on there as well. There's um, another arm here. You can pull it out to tell the computer what it needs to be, the width. Um, there's another tool which shows the dimensions and everything. Um, I will quickly show it. There's this. It goes over here. So you can get the width. It's 5 inch width. Uh, and then you turn it, the machine beeps. You put the weight wherever it tells you to. Um, there's 5 on this side, 25 grams on this side. So that's, it's all to do with the tyre and how the wiring inside the tyre is constructed. So that kind of explains it all. So we're not going to show it on the other wheel. It's fine if you need to show it on this one, but that's how it's done. But yeah, as I said before, we're not going to do it today. We're not going to put any weights on. Uh, we're going to wait until new rubber, because that's what we, Yeah, I've decided that even though these tyres are, are quite a few years old, I still want new rubber. Okay, right, let's do this. Right, push the bike up. It's not even sound anything at the back. I did notice that. Right, so we've got a spacer and a speedo drive. We've got our other spacer, some paper. Let's get rid of this toolbox, yeah? I really should have put the handle at the front, shouldn't I? Really, thinking about it. Right, as before, I've got to get the spindle out. Okay, so that's out. Okay, are we ready? Spacer on one side of the wheel. And spacer on the other side. It fits in a certain way. This is oh, it's not working. Come on, in you go. There we go. It's got that. Okay, so roll it in, try and keep the, uh, there you go, 
Try and keep these level. It's not the easiest thing when you've only got one hand. Okay, let's try and do this. Kind of leaning. I need the lump hammer. I haven't got a regular of a lump hammer. It's down in the shed, but uh, I'll use this one for now. Okay, there is a collar on the inside of the fork. Feel it on the other side. So now I've got to. Where's it going to go? Need to get a little socket. All right, just um, getting the tool. I thought we'd show you this again. Um, this is. It looks like a bolt on the end. But yeah. This is the only thing I use for undoing the spindle at the front of the bike, and it's brilliant for doing that. Or undoing it, doing it up, either way. So, as before, the other side is pinched. Move that oil. Do it up. Is it going anywhere? No, it's not. There it is. It's in now. Okay, so. Up. Okay, so there you go. Wheel number one is in. That looks good. Right, okay. Back wheel. Here we go. So, I'm going to take off the castle nut as before. I'll see the, uh, the adjuster. This will be coming off again because I need to get the uh, other things done in here as well. Take that one off. Take out both spacers as well. You've got a big spacer on this side of the bike. And you've got a smaller spacer on the brake, brake caliper side. So I'll place those down. Hands getting filthy and I've forgotten to put my gloves on. Never mind. Right, so spindle is out. Get a bit of cardboard, shall we? Cardboard is going down because I need to put the rubbers back in. I don't know what you can see of this wheel. Yeah, you can see. Um, I'm just going to walk in front of the camera, annoyingly. Okay, so getting the push drive rubbers and this chain, well, the sprocket carrier hub. Put these in. On, in you go. I'll then put them all the way around. Huh? Right, now he's fit in the sprocket. Okay, that's in. Right, so that is the chain side. Oh, got the bigger, the bigger one. It covers the uh, seal. I don't know if you can see that from where you are. 
but it covers the seal so it's then protected, which is really cool. Um, and on the other side, on the disc side, or is that? I could be wrong actually, I could have made a boo boo. It's been a while, guys. So just wipe, I'm just going to wipe off some of the oil, old grease. No, that is correct. I'm sure that's correct. Come here. It fell out, tried to get away from me. Let's double check that a minute. Let's try the other side, see if that fits in there. No, it doesn't. Right, so that does go on that side. And we've got the spacer on the other. I will be cleaning that up at some point. Okay, so. Yep, the mud guard always gets in the way on these. In we go. Spacer is not happy. Oh, I see. It's all right, don't worry. The hub isn't in far enough. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. All right, piece of wood and a hammer. Just wipe my hands down. He said, I've got a piece of wood up here. Last thing I want to do is damage the power cut. Unless standing on it works. I might do that. <sighs> yep, I felt that go clunk. That worked. That saves it. Saves a lot of hassle. Yeah, that's definitely in right now. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Big spacer on the chain side, small spacer on the brake side, tilt the wheel at an angle, especially if you're not, if you haven't got um, these modern fan angled um, workbenches, workbench would be nice, proper, proper bike bench, that would be good. Right, that's going in. Okay. So. The wheel needs to be lifted slightly. Now, I've put the, on the front wheel, I've put the bolt going in from this side. So unfortunately on this one, it was pointing the other way. I'm gonna change that. So the wheel is now going to be on first. Right. This is a messy job, especially if you're not wearing gloves. Okay, so what I need to do is lift the wheel slightly and push the bar in. Jump, double check, check the angle. Right, it's definitely right. right. Oh. <laughs> ah, it looks like I've got it. There we go. Let's get that hammer again. Um, I'm going to take the wheel back out. That's not good. This has fallen out of the hub carrier. And that's rather important. Ah, for God's sake. Right. Here we go again. Oh. 
one of those days, I think. Here you come. There you go. Yeah. That's frustrating. Yeah, goes in there, look. Oh, what am I like? Okay, back in again. Stand on the wheel again. I looked on the floor and I saw that. I thought, why is that there? I'm thinking for a second, is that the front wheel spacer? Is it the back wheel spacer? It can't be. And then I realised it was the hub carrier bolt, the hub carrier in a race. It's not a spacer, it's an inner race. So when the uh, I know I should have greased this. I know I should have. Um, yeah, um, that's kind of annoying. Munch fingers. Right. Do this again. Okay. Lift the camera arm up. That doesn't need to be down. Use the up. Oh, why is that going cool down there? Ah. ah, the joys of motorbikes. Ah, come here. Wasn't quite straight. In you go. You were in there just now. <sighs> Why don't you want to go in? <sighs> I think what I'm going to have to try and do is put the, the spacer in when the spindle's almost all the way through. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Careful. Right, it's gone slightly too far. Let's come back a bit. There we go. Back a bit more. has been in here. Why isn't it? Doesn't it want to go?
It doesn't want to go in for some reason. Oh, I see. Yeah, still not seated right. How annoying. Oh, for God's sake. Right. This is really doing my in today, this bike. Why do you not want to play today? Oh. Now it's in. Jeez. I really could swear today, but this is my YouTube channel. Oh. Swore a couple of times on my YouTube channel. Really didn't want to. Right, I'm gonna put the wheel in without the other space. I'm gonna do that after I've got this bit in. So there. Come on, lift. There we go. God. Put the other spacer in. Let's lift this. Oh, you cow. Really? And really? Maybe I should do it from the other side. That might make it actually... Yeah, it went through more easily on the other side. For some randomly weird reason. Or did it? Yes, it did go in for that. It's the thicker powder coat. I think that's what's causing the issues. I'm going to keep going with this. Have to. Right, okay, so that is lined up there. Let's push the bolt back a bit. Right, so. Okay, so what I've had to do, I'm shining some light on this. Um, I've had to use the hammer to try and knock, well, the back end of the hammer, the rubber part, that bit, that end there. I know, losing a bit of light now. So, um, had to knock it down in between the spacer in there and the swing arm. So all, I've got, all I now need to do, it is in line. All I've got to do is lift the wheels slightly and then tap through the bar. Yes, unfortunately, look at that. Can you see that? See that little tiny arc right in the center of the screen to the right of that nut? Unfortunately, I used a spanner to do up that nut and I didn't realize part of the spanner had been damaged. 
So, yeah, don't tell anyone that my Pride and Joy has got a blooming scratch. So we've got to lift the wheel. That goes through. So. Almost. Lift the wheel a bit. Got to push it forward slightly. Oops. Tell me when you can see the bolt coming through. Oh, thank you very much. Right, there it is. I need to wipe. Okay, so that goes on. Put the castle nut on the end. <sighs> okay, it's done up hand tight. Finally, it's in. <sighs> now we have it. Shiny. Let's get outside and have a proper look, even though the bodywork and the engine is not in there. Let's have a look. Now, I know this might not seem like a, a big deal, getting the wheels put on, but to me, it was pretty important. So, uh, yeah, I think that is starting to look damn good. It's starting to look damn good. That is bright, and it's not. The sun isn't even out. It's, it's cloudy above. Well, it's overcast at least, but I think that looks damn good. Right, this is the end of episode nine. I um, hope this is guy. This has been interesting in some way or shape or form. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. It's been a long time coming for episode 9. But hopefully episode 10 won't be too far away. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, and if you haven't seen the video of these being powder coated, take a look in this corner up here and feel free to subscribe over here. Thank you for watching.